So, you're ready to record transactions, huh? Hang on a minute. Let's make sure you can analyze what's happening to the accounting equation first. Assume you've started your own business. You've opened a coffee shop and bookstore called The Novel Cup. You found several investors to provide the startup funds you needed to get the business going. You've got the cash, and now you're ready to put out that open sign. Before you open, though, you've got to do a few things. Rent a building, hire employees, purchase coffee equipment, purchase coffee beans and supplies, purchase books, and purchase comfy chairs and bookshelves. How have each of these impacted the accounting equation? Or have they impacted it at all? Let's take the first business activity. We got funding from investors. Let's assume you decided to form your business as a corporation, so these investors are actually shareholders buying stock in your company. Did the accounting equation change with this activity? The answer is yes. What happened with this business activity? We got cash from the investors. That's part of what happened, but that's not the end of the story. They didn't just give us cash for fun. They gave us cash as an investment. They don't expect to be paid back, so this is not a loan. They are purchasing part ownership in the company. Let's analyze what this did to the accounting equation. We got cash. What part of the accounting equation does that involve? Cash is something we own, so assets are changed. How did they change? Well, we got cash, so assets are increasing. That's one part of the transaction. But remember, there are always at least two parts to every business transaction. And you need to always check and see if the accounting equation is in balance. So far, assets are increasing. Let's say the total investment was $50,000, so assets increased by $50,000. The accounting equation doesn't balance right now. As we said before, this cash was given in exchange for part ownership in the company. What part of the accounting equation does that involve? Ownership is part of equity. How did it change? Someone purchased part of the company by making an investment. This is increasing equity. Equity goes up by $50,000. Now, does the accounting equation equal? Yes, it does. This level of analysis is great, but when we're ready to record this transaction, we need to know the specific accounts that are involved. Knowing that assets increased is great, but we need to know which asset increased to record this. The same goes for equity. Which specific equity increased? Here are a few examples, not all, of specific accounts under each category of the accounting equation. There are lots of accounts under each category of our accounting equation. The more examples we do and practice we get with analyzing and recording transactions, the more familiar we'll become with all the different specific accounts and knowing which ones to use. Some examples of specific asset accounts include cash, accounts receivable, which is an account to use when someone owes you money, notes receivable, which is like accounts receivable, but you also charge the person interest. Investments, these are items you've purchased in another company, not an investment someone makes in your company. That's stock under the equity section. Supplies, inventory, land, buildings, equipment. Some examples of specific liability accounts include accounts payable, which is an account to use when you owe someone money, notes payable, which is like an accounts payable, but now you have to also pay interest, salaries and wages payable, taxes payable, and really pretty much anything with the word payable. Some examples of specific equity accounts include stock, retained earnings, dividends, service revenue, sales revenue, and a whole host of other specific revenues. Salaries and wages expense, supplies expense, rent expense, interest expense, utilities expense, and again, a whole host of other expense accounts as well. Okay, back to our example. The 
$10,000 investment into our company. What specific accounts were involved? We know an asset increased and an equity increased. Which ones? For the asset, we got cash, so the cash account increased by $50,000. For the equity, this was an owner investment. As a corporation, our owners are stockholders. So, additional investment is in the form of shares of stock. Therefore, the stock account increased by $50,000. You did it! You analyzed a business transaction.